Hello everyone. I'm very happy to be with you today for our French lesson. As you know, uh, today we'll do our ninth lesson. And uh, as we continue, I normally remind you what we did uh, in the previous lesson. That's why I would like to, uh, to review a bit about lesson number eight. So as you can see, or you can remember that lesson number eight, we did uh, the months of the year, and we said that we have uh, the first month, of course, it's just like English. We have uh, Janvier, Février, Mars, Avril, May, Juin, Juillet, Août, Septembre, Octobre, Novembre, Décembre. So we have our 12 months of the year, and you can see actually the spelling is almost the same like the English one. So I just wanted to remind you before we do, we introduce today's lesson. So as you can see, we are um, continuing and uh, today we'll see the possessive adjectives. In French, we call them adjectif possessif. And it is written like this, adjectif possessif. Of course, uh, when you see just the spelling itself, it tells you something in English, right? That's why I said French is very easy. You will see most of the words are just like the English words. So we'll see the adjective possessive. You have to note this. Here I'm talking about because some of you might forget. What is now adject possessive adjective? This is the French one. Adjective possessive. I'm talking about my. I'm talking about your. Like this, his or her, and then here we have our, you have your plural, and then there, like this one. This is what I'm talking about. And in French, as we continue, it's very important for you to know the meaning of this in English, I mean in French. So, um, in French, we have three words that mean my. Why do we have three words? It's because of the gender. You have to know something as we continue learning our French lesson. We have something called genre. So it, when I talked, I think it was in lesson two, I talked about uh, uh, the articles, the definite article and indefinite article. And I said we'll continue uh, with that lesson. But it's very important for you to know from the beginning like this, that in French, we have what we call genre. So we have the genre masculine and genre féminin. Actually, just like masculine, and then here we have féminin. So, we have genre masculin et genre féminin. But I'm, I don't want to go far about that. Uh, I just want you to know that because sometimes you might see things do change. And uh, you remember when we talked about articles, there was something like this, and I gave four French words. That means same thing. So, here we said we have les, la... L apostrophe and L pluriel, which we call L plural. So this is the article, the definite article. And in English, all this, they mean one. Why do we have these four of them? It's because of the gender. So this is uh, the, the masculine, the feminine. This is both masculine and feminine. And this is both also masculine and feminine in plural form. That's why uh, we have those many. But don't worry about these things. You will understand later. It's very easy for you to understand them. But for uh, the possessive adjectives, we have the word my. The my can mean mon, ma, and then me. So we have mon, ma, me. The same English word here, my, can mean mon, ma, me. Why do we have many? Because of the gender. So this is the masculine. Mo is masculine. Ma is feminine. And me is both masculine and feminine in plural. I will give an example and you will understand. And then here we have your, we have ton, ta, te. And then we have his or her, we have son, this is S-O-N, sa, and then se. And then for the hour, we have notre. Here we only have two, because the masculine and feminine, it is just the same. It is just notre. And then you have the no, that is the both masculine and feminine in plural. And then we have this plural form here, votre, and then vos, the same like this note. So this takes the masculine and feminine. And this one, masculine and feminine in plural. And then we have l'air, 
l'air like this plural. I'll give you an example. Why do we have like this? It's very simple. You will understand. Don't worry. It's very easy to understand this thing. Let's say, for example, I'm talking about a pen. Pen, the word pen is called stylo in French. The word pen is called stylo. And stylo is, the word stylo is a masculine word. We say en stylo. So if you want to say my pen, you will say mon stylo. You say mon stylo. Why mon stylo? It's because the word stylo is a masculine one. Something very important for you to understand here. We are not talking about the stylo itself being a male or a female. No. It is about this noun. This noun here, stylo, it is the one that takes the gender. It is not the object stylo itself. Okay, you have to know that. I'm saying the, the thing that takes the gender is not that thing. That object is still itself that we used to write. No, it is this noun. It is this word. It is the word that is in, in masculine form, not the object itself. So it's very important for you to know that. Because in English, it's somehow different. So uh, if, for example, I, I, let me give you a feminine word now. I give a feminine word. For example, cre. We have the word cre. That means chalk. So the word cre, it's like this one. And this word cre, chalk, this word cre is a feminine word. So we'll say, okay, we can, if you mean, for example, my chalk, you know, that's just an example. So you will say, ma cre, ma cre, like this one. Why? Because the word, it is this word cre that, that is in, in feminine form. It is not the object, that thing, no. It is this noun, this word. So, and then the plural form, let's say, for example, you have many pens. So you have many pens, so my pens, those are my pens, for example, my pens, then you will have me stylo, like this. Of course, in English, the general rule says uh, the, the plural is, is, is made by adding an S, right? Even though we have exceptions, but that's the general rule. So in French, it is also the same. We have to add S at the end of that word. So uh, the more is masculine, ma is uh, feminine and may is both masculine and feminine and it's very simple for example in this context you have my pens your pens you just add s and then you take this one if you mean my pens the same with ton tate son sasse notre nom votre vos l'air l'air it's very simple it means because of the gender that's why we have many words like this and in english you only have one 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 but for us in French, because of the gender, that's why you have, because it will be grammatically wrong if where you are supposed to say, for example, mon stylo, and then you say ma stylo. Grammatically, there is a problem there. So this one does not exist. Why? Because the word stylo is a masculine word, and it's supposed to take this mo, which is the masculine possessive adjective like that so it's very simple actually i will repeat it in this way for your for you to understand well we are talking about possessive adjectives and we have this in in actually there is a reason main reason why i'm giving you this i i thought it's better for you to start learning these things from the beginning like this as we continue with our lesson so uh, we have the possessive adjective and we have these english words these are the equivalents in, in French. So these English, these are French ones. Why do we have many like this in French instead of having just one, 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 one? It's because of the genre, because of the masculine and feminine. That's why we have many like this. It's, each language has its, its rules and we just have to follow like that. But before I finish, it's very important for you to understand this, that you know, actually at this stage, because you are still learning, maybe you are a beginner or something like that, you haven't understood very well French, it's very easy, don't worry, people will understand. We who do speak French will understand you even if you mix these things. For example, if you say mastilo instead of saying monstilo, we will understand what you mean and you will have passed your message, but grammatically there, is, there will be a problem. But because you are still learning, and for the sake of learning, I can advise you to consider this way. Uh, I will allow to do this because of the sake of learning. Because of the sake of learning, you better know this. So for now, for the sake of learning, please understand this. 
My is more, your is ton, his, her is son, our is notre, this one is votre, and this last one is l'air. So we have mon, ton, son, notre, votre, l'air. So they sound like this. Mon, ton, son, notre, votre, l'air. Mon, ton, son, notre, votre, l'air. So and uh, as we continue with our lessons, you will now understand that sometimes we will be having ma, some other times we will be having me, we will be having ta, te, sa, se, no, vo, and l'air, something like that. So thank you very much. And uh, I would like to remind you about uh, our IYF Free Academy. Please, uh, you can see us on YouTube, IYF Kenya TV. Uh, that's our channel on YouTube. Please, you can subscribe and invite other people to come subscribe so that they can be part of us. And on Facebook, IYF Kenya. Share and comment also so that we, we know if we are together as we learn. And you can invite other people to come and join. Thank you very much. See you next lesson. <music>